Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Big X. Oh, no. This is terrible. I must do something. I'll send a message to Clutch Cargo. He'll know what to do. Stargazer? Why, he's the outstanding space observer of our time. If he sees something big, it must be awfully big. Come on, Spinner. We've got to get to his observatory right away. But the plane is in the repair shop, Clutch. We'll take Timmy Murphy's dragster. He said we could use it in case of emergency. We'll take the shortcut straight across the desert. Clutch Cargo, I'm so glad you got my message. Come up here quick. I want you to take a look at something. In here. Why, it's a big thing. Like I said, and that isn't all. It's headed right this way. Y you mean, you mean... Precisely. In exactly four hours, 32 minutes, and 12 seconds, mountain time, that big thing will collide with the moon. Why, it'll crash the moon to bits. Exactly, Clutch. That's why I called on you. What are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. We've got to go up there and stop it. I knew I could count on you, Clutch. But how? Hmm. Well, now, let's see. Cape Canaveral's big beastie is in orbit, and Minerva the Third blew up on the pad. Oh, dear. Then there's no space rockets available. Hey, Clutch! What about Professor Knockworth, the rocket wizard? Good boy, Spinner. We'll have to hurry. It's a long way out to his pad. What if Professor Knockworth doesn't have a rocket ready, Clutch? If anybody's got a space rocket on the ground, he will. He does nothing but build them and test them. I do hope he has one ready. Otherwise, the moon is doomed. Just ahead, we find Professor Knockworth does indeed have his latest rocket ready on the launching pad. The professor is making the last second adjustment. There! All fixed! Ready to blast off! Now! Ten! Nine! Professor Knockworth! Hey! It's me, Clutch Cargo! Eight, Come on down! Seven! Six! Five! It's urgent! Can't spare a minute, Clutch! I'm in the middle of my countdown! Four, three, back, back, two, no, no, Professor. Don't do it. Out of the way. Wow, what a spot. What will Clutch do? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Big X. You remember last time, Clutch and company had received a strange message from Professor Stargazer. Something big was on its way. Soon, Clutch and company arrived at the professors. They found that something big was about to hit the moon. The only way to stop it was by rocket. But as they approached Professor Knockworth's pad... Isn't she a beaut? Look at her go! Best one I ever built! Professor, 
I'm sorry you did that. Why do you say such a thing, Clutch? Why, that was my first successful rocket this year. You mean that was your only rocket that can reach out into space? Well, maybe it isn't and maybe it isn't. Why do you ask, Clutch? It's about Big X. It's a great big thing. Headed straight for the moon. Yes, some giant unidentifiable object will collide with the moon in exactly three hours, 28 minutes, and 15 seconds mountain time. The shattering of the moon will affect our ocean tides. The Earth will be showered with moon pieces. <coughs> we are counting on you, Professor Knockwurst. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, why didn't you tell me? We tried to, Professor, but you had already started your countdown. Okay, then maybe we can beat that big thing yet. Follow me. I still have my first rocket ship. It didn't fly so good, but then who's perfect? Can't you fix it? Well, with a week of tinkering, maybe. Oopsie! There's not enough time, Professor. You'll have to fix it on the way. Well, now I don't know now, he might get off the ground, but after that, who knows? <laughs> we'll have to chance it. We've got to save that moon. Okay, Clutch Boy. The flattens and plumas are all fastened, ready to start the countdown. Roger, Professor. We're all set up here. Start counting, Spinner. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Huh? Nothing happened. What's wrong, Clutch? Looks like we're about ready to start. Uh, looks like we're not going to get off. For a moment there, I thought she was going to go. Well, the rocket got off, but will it really fly? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Big X. You remember last time Clutch and company with Professor Stargazer were trying to stop a big thing from hitting the moon. They needed a rocket to intercept it. Suddenly, Professor Knockwurst remembered his first rocket. Wow, we what a takeoff! We're still accelerating. Hey, Clutch Boy, how about that for a takeoff? Old Betsy's got more got up and went than I remembered. If we continue at this splendid rate of speed, I calculate we should intercept this big X unknown object in precisely one hour, 28 and 8 tenths seconds mountain time. But how are we ever going to stop it from crashing? That's a good question, Spinner Boy. I'm working on it. Our forward flight characteristics seem stable enough, Professor Knockwurst. But what do we do in case we have to change course? Let's see. I got to install the flutes, jammers. Then maybe a little fiction on the forward flutens. Yeah, maybe I should get started already. Yeah, good idea, Professor. Every second counts. Golly, Clutch, you mean we can't stop this thing? I know it's risky, Spinner, but taking off under repairs is our only chance of stopping Big X. Clutch, Spinner, Paddlefoot, come here, quick. See this? Now this is us, approaching the area of the moon. Here's the moon up here. And look, this is Big X moving in fast. Golly! We're right on course, on schedule. Hope our luck holds. Jiminy, Pat. 
paddle foot. Lucky way down there. The Earth's getting teenier and teenier. According to my dials, we should be nearing our objective, Big X. How about checking it out on the radar scope, Professor Stargazer? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Hmm, very interesting. In fact, getting more interesting by the minute. In two more minutes, we should hit our objective right on the nose. Hit it? We're not supposed to hit it. We're just supposed to intercept it. Why, yes, of course. You're so right. Quick, Spinner, yell down to Professor Knockworth and see if a forward fluke rejector is installed yet. How's that? I say, can you have it fixed in two minutes? You mean we are already there? Not only are we already there, we're about to plow into that big thing. It's coming in fast. I'd say offhand about 18,000 miles an hour. Professor, Professor, can't you hurry? I think I got her fixed, Clutch. Give her a try. Look out! We, you, we almost collided with Big X. <gasps> Good. Professor Knockworth fixed the guidance system in the nick of time. Wonderful work, Professor Knockworth. You fixed it. Thanks, Clutch. Keep steering. I still have to attach the flag and boomers yet. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, quick, take a look at this. Now, see, this is the surface of the moon. Here is our rocket ship coming in fast, straight at it. And over here, notice how erratically Big X is traveling, also headed straight at the moon. Golly! That's strange. Big X seems to be trying to... To follow us. Precisely. Clutch, the professor's right. It's getting closer and closer. Hey, Professor Knockworth, pour on the coals. We've got a hot comet on our tail. Golly, will Clutch and company and the professors be able to shake the hot comet? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Big X. You remember last time, Clutch and company and the two professors had set out in Professor Knockworth's first unsuccessful rocket. The professor was building it as they flew. Within minutes after takeoff, they were just about to hit Big X when... Hey, Professor Knockworth, pour on the coals. We've got a hot comet on our tail. Yeah, sure, Clutch, right away. We're coming down on that moon awfully fast. Any idea of what's making that thing chase us, Professor? Yes, I do have a theory. I figure Big X is attracted by the ionized particles in our slipstream. Our rocket flame is leaving a path of negative charged elements that is attracting active positive molecules in that runaway comet. If that's the case, we're in luck. Huh? If that thing is so intent on following us, we'll just pull up and keep it from crashing the moon. But, but what about us? <laughs> we'll worry about that later, Spinner. Hold on to your hats, everybody. Here goes. Try to outrun it, Spinner. Boy, looks like you did it again. We're keeping ahead. Yep, fellas. Looks like we're going to outrun it. I thought we were goners for a minute. <sighs> According to my calculations, the further away we get from that comet, the less likely it is to catch up with us. Professor Knock 
worst. What's wrong? Quick clutch, throttle back. The rocket boilers are about to blow. Old Betsy can't stand this pace. She's liable to blow to pieces. But if we slow down, Big X will get us. If Big X is attracted to the ionized particles in our slipstream, doesn't it make sense if we cut the engines, it'll stop following us? Well, yes, and then again, maybe no. It really hasn't been proven scientifically as yet. Better do something quick, Clutch. Oh, no, not again. Will Clutch and company ever escape that monstrous Big X? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Big X. You remember last time, Clutch and company and his friends flying into space in a huge rocket ship were attracting Big X by the ionized particles in their slipstream. Better do something quick, Clutch. Right. <laughs> Big X, slow down. It's not going to crash us. Wonderful, Spinner. We lucked out. What now, Clutch? First off, I want to take a closer look at that thing. Break out the spacesuit, Spinner. Right, Clutch. Professor Knockworth, roll the ship to horizontal flight attitude with the air compressors. Right, Clutch. Okay, Spinner. All set. Open the space hatch. boy, we've stumbled across the greatest find of the century. You really think so? I'm positive it's a musical meteorite, the rarest thing in space. Yeah, yeah, go on. It's composed of pure nickelodeum. No! Nickelodeum? What's that? Nickelodeum is the rarest of musical metals. Its crystal structure enables it to vibrate in perfect harmonics. Let's hook her on and tow it back to Earth with us. Yeah, yeah, Clutch. It will be the pride and the joy of the Space Museum. All set, Professor. We'll tow her in using the auxiliary air compressor jets. Yeah, yeah, just the thing. Safer that way. Good old Earth again. Reverse motors, Professor. Prepare for landing. Thanks so much, Clutch and Spinner. You not only helped us save the moon, but you brought back this musical meteorite. Glad to help, Professors. Lucky! Cloudfoot is up on top of Big X. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Big X. Oh.
be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Crush Cargo.